go what is up guys welcome back to another video um, gonna start this one off by telling you a little bit about what I've been doing this week uh, I spent all of Tuesday uh, driving out to Dayton to pick up this lift and then getting it unloaded and then yesterday standing up the two posts and getting the top on was not easy which is me and my dad uh, but we got it done so today I picked up the wiring, uh, drill bit, a couple of things I needed, some, some fluid. So hopefully I have everything I need to go back to the shop, get the holes drilled, get it bolted down, get it in place, start running the cables, start hooking up hydraulics, filling that up, running the wiring, plugging it up, um, and getting it done. I'd like to have it done by tomorrow. Uh, so. In this video or next, you might see it with a car on it, lifting, fully functional, so. I do want to give a big, big shout out to my dad and Delmar next door at Dennis Auto Sales. Uh, they were a huge help in getting this lift up. Uh, I don't know how I planned on doing it by myself or how I thought I was going to accomplish it without other people. So. I really appreciate my dad helping me. Um, if you see this, thank you so much. Uh, it's nice to be able to call and just use the truck and trailer and have somebody that goes with me that helps. And uh, it's, it's just, words can't explain how grateful I am to have people like that I can call on when I need. So thank you very much, dad. I really appreciate it. Sad to say that. Speaking of Dennis Auto Sales, if you are in the market for a used car and you don't have much money or your credit's terrible, he is a buy here, pay here lot. I have detailed a bunch of these vehicles you're seeing and uh, come check him out. He is literally right across the street from my shop. Um, I've been doing a lot of his cars. He has been a huge part of keeping the doors open here at the shop because without his jobs, um, it would not have been as easy to pay the bills for the last couple months, so appreciate it, Delmar. The lift is bolted to the floor. Thank God. I feel like this shit is taking forever. I really underestimated what it was like putting a 9,000 pound lift in, but it's getting there. Gotta run the wiring, gotta hook up the hydraulics and the cables and everything, and that's it. I keep forgetting to film sideways, so I've already filmed some of these. Now I'm filming it again, but um, got 220, ran down the roof, down to the lift over there, did this 12 gauge wire here. Um, Cut the power, so the main power to the building is off. I don't want to kill myself. Um, and yeah, we just got to wire it up. There's some fluid in it. And we should be able to test out the lift here. So I'm going to get this wired up real quick to the breaker and get back with you guys. So yeah, this video probably switched over to sideways on you um, mid-video. But I just want to show you guys real quick uh, the electronic box, the wiring box. I just bought me a little tackle box from like Walmart or something and tried to stock it with everything you could need for wiring. Um, got solder, lots of zip ties and stuff, fuses, blades, um, connections, whole plethora of shrink wrap, some P clamps, different sizes. These little zip tie holders are nice. You can stick it on or screw it on through the middle hole and then it gives you holes on both sides to run a zip tie through. And they actually look really clean sometimes. I've used them more on like home stuff probably than anything. But yeah, multimeter, some loom, electrical tape, soldering, just everything you need in one box. Um, this thing's come in handy. Well, thank God that is over. I cannot say I had fun putting that in, but I don't think anybody does, and at least it's over now. Um, 
I gotta put I gotta put the plug back together, the switch back on, but yeah. She is together, all done. Uh, both sides seem to lift pretty um, equal. I think I got the cables and everything right. I gotta clean it up real good. Um, you know I gotta slap a Garage 533 sticker on it. And uh, yeah. So, yeah, other than throwing the switch panel back on, throwing that plug cover back on, I got all the wiring done. It looks clean. It just runs over to the box with a light, light conduit. Um, and then I tied it off onto the other side and ran it down and then ran ground, two powers, to the 20 amps in the box. Pretty, pretty simple. It's simple, but it's not simple because you're messing with 220, so it's very stressful if you're not an electrician like me, but I can understand it. Just it, I have to really think about it. <laughs> but yeah, be ready for that thing coming up. Gonna have plenty of videos on bringing this thing back to life. This is a B18 and a DA Integra full rye wire harness tuck, full downstar hardware, uh, header exhaust, blocks intake manifold, um, some really nice smoked headlights, some clutch wheels, and then I believe it will be getting wrapped as well. So content on that coming and it'll probably be the first thing on the lift. Stay tuned. All right, this is it. First car on the lift. I got her up in the air so far. About to take it. Take it up, I guess. Shit is sketching me out. Oh man. I had such a hard time pushing this car onto the lift, on the, into this spot too, from where you saw it last. But here you go. I guess I'll set you guys up. <laughs> Like super rewarding but also super super damn sketchy I guess we'll call this a success plus I just want to end this video so I can get it back down so peace out guys thanks for watching hope you found some humor in my stress bye